Hi, my name is Alex, and this video is part of a series where we are going to build an operating system. In this video, we are going to build a cross-compiler. You can view the online guide at this link here. We need a cross-compiler for many reasons. If you don't have a cross-compiler, then something will go wrong. Again, you can read more about it at this link here. Before we start, you need to install a bunch of dependencies onto your machine. So here's a table, and just pause the video, and once you're done, come back. You will also need to download the bin utils and GCC files. For this video, I decided to get a version that is below my current compiler, so that we can see a difference between the compilers. I've downloaded bin utils version 2.31, and GCC 8.2.0. I'll include links in the description below. Once you have them, extract them and put it into your project directory. My project directory will be home source. Alright, so now we're at the preparation stage and we're going to write a bunch of macros as well as modify our path variable. So here are the commands. Export prefix as dollar sign home slash opt slash cross our target and we are appending our prefix slash bin to our path. Next we are going to make a directory called build bin utils and then we are going to change into that directory. Then we are going to run a configure command from the bin utils that we just extracted and we're going to be setting up our variables. So target is equal to target, prefix is equal to prefix. We're also going to set um, with system root. So this enables uh, sys root support. And we're going to disable NLS. So NLS is native language support. And we'll disable warnings as errors. And then just go ahead and run make. So. This may end up taking a while, uh, it certainly did take me a long time. I sped up the footage here by about 500%, uh, so hopefully it doesn't take too long for you. Alright, and then the last command that we have to run is make install. Alright, cool. Moving on to GCC, or building GCC. Um, we'll just cd back in, and this command here just check uh, whether the target exists within our path. Uh, if it doesn't exist, then we will echo target is not in path. Yep. And you can see that's where our target is, which is pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to make a directory called build GCC, and we're going to change into it. And we're going to run a similar command um, it's another configuration command from the GCC that we just downloaded. Uh, target is equal to target and prefix is equal to prefix. And it's more or less the same. Uh, with enable languages, uh, you can add C++ optionally. All right, cool, and this may end up, oh, it did. Oh, it took a really short amount of time. Uh, now we can just run all the make files. So the first command that I ran was make all GCC. All right, so now there's just a few more that we have to run. Um, we have to make, an, make all target and lib GCC, I believe. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Okay, and you can just ignore the errors. Uh, make install GCC. And the last one is uh, make install target libgcc. Yeah, it's libg, yeah, whoops, there we go. 
And that's it. Now we should have our cross compiler. Alright, so let's just go ahead and check whether it is there. So home opt cross bin because that's where it is. And then that's the target. And we'll just do dash dash version. And we see that we get 8.2.0. Whereas if I just did GCC dash dash version, I get 8.2.1. And you also notice that their targets are different. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.